Anyway, so, stuff. So this is our airport, currently. We've uh, finished the tech tree. Finished the tech tree yesterday. So there's our R&D projects. All projects are completed, yay. So instead of uh, working on research stuff, we've devoted our uh, administrators to working on these programs, upkeep cost reduction, salary cost reduction, passenger satisfaction boosts, staff uh, proficiency boosts, or productivity boosts, supplier discounts, and union relations. So that's where our stuff is there. We have most everything turned on, the icing. We need to actually build stuff for the icing, but this airport is located in San Diego, California, so ice is not really a problem. Blah, blah, blah. We don't have general. Uh, gen general aviation turned off because that's not where the money is. So that. I guess I could turn keep the lights on all the time, couldn't I? Well, I'll turn the lights off for uh, one hour a day. Turn them on at 1900. Turn them off at... 1800 to 6 o'clock and then turn them back on at... Actually, let's do... Turn the lights on at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we'll turn them off at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> no international flights yet. We, we're capable of doing them. We have the technology to do it. It's we just don't have um, the space currently. Like, I'm not sure, because we only have right now two size of planes that we can accommodate, small and medium. And I don't know if medium-sized planes are capable of doing international flights. I would think so, but I'm not sure. Because I don't actually know what kind of planes these really are. Oh, this is a Boeing 757. Can a 757 do a trans transatlantic flight and that kind of stuff? I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on those type of planes. Yeah, 757s. I don't know if 757s can do that. An A3020, that's an Airbus. I don't know if they can do it either. 757s can? Okay. Hey Jeff, welcome back. No gold colored planes? I don't know if we can do that, can we? Uh oh, they're short vehicles. We need some fuel trucks. Let's uh let's buy a fuel truck. Jet fuel truck. Fjords are the bad ones. Or the weak ones. And where are the trailer trucks? Can refuel any craft using blah blah blah. The fuel flows much faster than its predecessor. Fuel tanker is included. Maverick fuel truck can refuel any aircraft using the Wars. The fuel flow is much faster than its predecessor. Let's get two of those and one of these. What else are we missing? Could use uh, surface cars. We only need two. Belt loader trucks, we're missing one. So belt loaders. Please stop saying oops. You are making me look bad. Get that. Five hundred dollars for a gold color plane would be pretty cool. Cheap, I guess it would be, Jeff. Maybe we can have A tens. What would you need an A ten for, Vukul? Strafe in the runway while people while other planes are on it? Watching everybody die? Anyway, so again, this is our air airport. We've got four parking lots that are fairly occupied. We've got a subway connection now. It's uh, transporting 115 people an hour. So this is why the, air the parking lots aren't full. It's totally full. Then we also started using these um, check-in, self-check-in stuff. So these are the little square or rectangles here are self check-ins. And then if they have luggage, they throw them onto one of these little things, <laughs> luggage dispensers, whatever. And they get routed to the proper luggage area based on their flight, of course. 
I don't know what these people are sitting around for. I'm guessing they're waiting for the flight. We still have regular check-in available if people want to use it. Which some people seem to be sometimes. And again, this is our terminal for the small aircraft. People are sitting around. We've got a little uh, place for them to sit down and eat. Not doing too bad. 153 people a day. Or currently today, there's a restroom. Get that there. What's wrong with the walls here? How did that happen? I'm not sure how that wall had holes in it. Need VIP area? Well, the VIP area would be a lounge, which I'm not sure how the lounges actually work. There's no SWAT team. What the hell? Okay, so this is all necessary stuff. Oh, we built a fuel uh, depot so that we don't have to, uh, you know, use up. Wow, this isn't even close to being full. Let's get some more fuel in here. <clears throat> so we should be getting a um, fuel, or yeah, fuel run here to get that some more fuel in there because we have our own little tanks now. And this is our second terminal. Actually, technically, it's Terminal 1, but um, this is where all the medium flights connect or come into. This is the bulk of our traffic, although I don't know where everybody is. They all seem to be in the other terminal for whatever reason. So we have a combination of um, boarding areas that are need personnel to do it, or we also have some self check-ins as well. And I just did build these two new uh, standings up here for medium planes and these guys need actual shuttles to come out to get the patients or not the patients <laughs> passengers to these planes it takes a little bit of time sometimes there's our buses ready to Hello, go everyone my name is veronica and welcome to gimpy's twitch channel if you are enjoying what you are watching please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Okay, so these new vehicles we just uh, bought and we need to assign them to up here because we want them in that terminal, not this one. Belt loader, same deal. You can actually assign that to an actual platform or standing, whatever they're called. Belt loader. So these baggage trucks, I think we're good. Smaller planes use a different type of fuel, so it's not a, for the most part. It's not a big deal about those. These are all smaller baggage trucks. Can you assign names to that bus to the bus drivers? No. Unfortunately, we cannot name people. Sadly. I also don't think you can. I've never been able to name anybody. Like staff. This is our staff overview. Yeah, we can't really, uh, no way to rename our people, but we can actually name the vehicles. I think we can name the vehicles. Yeah, so we can actually name the, rename the vehicles. We can't rename the people, but we can rename the vehicles. We can name the vehicles, we can name, rename buildings. Like, this is Vehicle Depot 3. Does it need more bathrooms? Probably. Look at all these guys. I don't even know what these guys are doing in here. Service technician. I don't know what they're doing here. It's funny as things just get messed up so quickly. Why these people are standing around, I'm not... Oh, they're probably waiting in line for the bathroom, aren't they? We should probably do some 
extra bathrooms in here. Okay, so let's do that. Bathrooms. So, 4x4 four four will work. Do that here. Do another one up there. Put some walls around them, so, you know, reasons. Bathrooms, toilets. This can sink or two. And hand dryers because you know these are sanitary. Let's wait for that to go. Uh oh, Jeff from new customer ward to bus number one. Bus number one. Bus one. Where's bus one? Where's the bus? Catering trucks, belt loaders, fuel truck catering, stuff there. Hmm, I don't see... Why isn't the bus there? For some reason it didn't show up. Jeff on a buffalo shuttle. That works. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we can name vehicles and buildings after people. I guess so much people need to use bathrooms and airports. Why don't they go on before they go there? Because you know we kind of feed them stuff like water and whatever. Can't work. Can't care. Looking back. QP patrol for the airport police car. Airport police car is down here. He doesn't actually do a whole lot. He just he's just been sitting there pretty much the whole time. Police car. We've had no events whatsoever that would even require a police car. Nice easy job. Yeah, the job is really easy because you've been sitting there all the time. Where's our fire truck? Oh, they're already parked in here. So we have an ambulance and a fire truck too. This is our major control tower there. That's a large one. Nice and busy. Dogs are back from their walk. Wow. So this is our main issue here. <laughs> Oh, I guess we have to uh, sign gender, female, turn it on, sign gender, male, turn it on, yeah, male. So, this is the, look at them all divert over. I don't understand why they're all sitting around here. Why they're not sitting where they're supposed to be, you know, where their flight is. Oh, this is intently for Mrs. Gimpy to mention Scout. We'll be doing the Scout report in about 30 more minutes, Jeff. Just so you know, we didn't, we skipped it at the very beginning. So I need to wreck this. This isn't. Um, 
Actually, I don't need to wreck the whole thing. We just need to wreck these chairs so people can get to the other chairs. This is our probably, arguably, our busiest uh, eating establishment for whatever reason. Not sure. Our taxi's not getting too much activity here. Getting pushed out of his little stall there by a little car. Is there a wild cow patrol? No. Look at all these problems. No little check-in desks. It's because there's planes everywhere. Oh, you know what? I just realized on the operations, the lights on and off. Lights come on at 6 and go off at 6 or 7. Yeah, I just realized we don't need lights on during the day. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay. Oh, we need lights in this parking lot. Because, you know, we don't want people to get robbed out in the middle of a parking lot. Even though I don't think it's a thing. Okay, so parking lots, not so full anymore. Again, that's a lot it has to do with the subway. Because that really takes a big load off there. These guys are still looking for bathrooms because they are, wow, busy. Did you cut and paste the Twitch stream title from the start of yesterday? No. Why? Did I do the same error? I did. <laughs> I did not. Apparently, I'm allergic to R's, or at least spelling the word air correctly. Wow, I didn't know. I did not cut and paste that. For the National MS Society for the eighth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Okay, we're going to put some restrooms right here. Another four by four. That. And dryer. Two there. Two there. And then we need some walls and whatever. And some doors. There. More restrooms. Yeah, I'm not a pirate. <laughs> oh, also our luggage situation. So again, this is the luggage claim. So everybody gets to stand around waiting for the luggage to do circles, which works. And this is uh, where all it's getting processed, uh, getting delivered from the planes, delivered to the trains, all, or planes all happens here. This is our luggage scanner, which comes from all the way down there. So all the check-in stuff. See these little spots? These are the treadmills or conveyor trays, whatever they are. Tray, conveyor belts, right? If they get thrown in here. Why is nobody doing their luggage? Oh, there we go. You just watch it. Can we follow that? Oh, I guess we sort of can. So 
There's more to go through here. See if it makes it through the security check. So it's got to make it through six checks. Otherwise it gets destroyed. It's funny when... Because every now and then one will make it all the way up here. Which is hilarious. And so I don't know how it does it, but... Basically it's being began for all the bad stuff, right? Why six checks? Well, because of the way the tech tree works. See, look, that one got caught. Um, I don't know why it's six. But when you do the tech tree, this is the first one you get. And it's like a general scan. These are scannings for, for specific things like money and drugs and firearms and that kind of stuff. This is just doing a general scan. And it's funny that they can make it through the first five and still get caught by this one. But if they are happy enough to make it through, they get all the way down here and they either get routed to here, which is um, you're limited to how many airport stands can use these particular um, uh, baggage depots, whatever they're called. So we have to have two. And then the luggage gets split depending on where they need to go. They either go up there or they go over here. And these are this one is mainly handling the medium size of planes. This one is doing a couple of the medium and all the small. You destroy things from your customers. Nice. Yes. Well, it's not my fault that they're bringing bad stuff. Why are guns bad? Well, I think it's good. Yeah, firearms. Because you're not supposed to bring firearms on guns, Jeff. Let's get this stuff so it gets routed here. Blah, stuff. Business. Not very busy. So there's our luggage. And of course then it comes up here and does circles. Oh, we gotta turn these guys on. And give you this to the, the females. That. And give this one to the males. I don't understand why everybody's just standing around here. And the guns on the plane. I think support is supposed to play robbers and gendarmes on the plane. <sighs> Cat gear. Oh, we need to update our carpet over here, too. Sorry, it's not the carpet. This is actual... Not okay. great. No, it's uh, marble. Okay, so that's gonna... Look, maybe you have a desk here for information. I don't know what good it's for, but it's there. an airport sounds fancy. You've never seen marble flooring at an airport before? I thought that's all they did in Europe. Uh oh. Some passengers are arriving to the airport. Uh, it is already closed due to a lack of transit structures. Built subway stations. Bus stops and uh, what? or similar to resolve this issue. Subway stations, bus stops are similar. But we have a subway station. We have bus stops. I don't understand the problem. These people are tired. You've never been to an airport, so you don't know. Uh, lights check in was very closed. Well, that's not my fault they're getting here late. We have buses, we have... We have subways. I mean, what more do I want? Use compressed floor as a floor? Well, that's not very... Uh, not very sophisticated there, of course. It 
So, for whatever reason, these guys are all lingering here, and I don't know why they are. We have plenty of check-in stuff. No flight scheduled there. That's fine. It's fine. I don't understand what the white people aren't checking in on time. These are all self check-ins. No plans to get your people to the airport. You can have a little airport for your main airport to get people fast to their flights. Yeah, we don't actually do the actual flights though. Our flights are contracted. This is our flight schedule. Currently doing 87 flights for today. We don't actually get to say where they fly to. We can only say what time they arrive. How about you've been to about one third of the airports in the world? That's a lot of airports. Are you sure? Have you been to San Diego? We have like, you know, three airports at least here. I think we have four actually. Yeah, but you've probably only been to uh, Lindbergh, right? Because that's the main one. You haven't been to the smaller ones more than likely. Have you been to John Wayne Air Airport up in Orange County? Or Irvine Airport? people so there are three sets of restrooms we have six restrooms here three for each sex right do we have a queue for the bathrooms yeah it's happening inside 208 people again. here Drink some water to keep the brain moist. Clearing these seats out, definitely move this up. An airport you can never visit, it's in Berlin. Which one would that be, Captain? It is a lot of crap, literally. So much crap. thing is, is all those people stuck over there is really affecting <laughs> went through the international there you go <laughs> there's a lot of airports <laughs> out in the world there really are and I was just talking about our our public airports not including the military ones we have which you can't fly into unless you're in the military or have permission to be there. Hey, how come they're not taking this thing? Jerks. Look, why are they not taking this? They could walk so much faster if they'd actually use this. They're going to make me move it, aren't they? Okay, fine. Bulldoze that one. Item position not valid. There we go. Not right there. So they go right next to each other. It's going the wrong way. No, it's going the right way. Now that one's going the wrong way. You know what? I just realized something too. We could actually stop them from going down the middle. Decoration.
Let's see if this works. Oh, they're not going to actually destroy it. What are they building? What are you guys doing? I said to stop destroying that. They better not destroy that. Because I told them to stop. I didn't even want it destroyed. Now take it out of your paychecks. Not exactly sure what they're doing. Contractor. I don't know what you're actually doing. That's okay. How much money we're making? I'm losing money there because planes not doing business. There we go. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Is reroute them a little bit. You know, gives you traveled 500,000 air miles a year. Why would you do such a thing? Are you guys stuck? Can't walk around that, huh? Oh, service work now. Yeah. These guys are broke. Oh, they did destroy it, you bastards. This cost me a lot of money. Side by side. I like this better. Union management is so hard. It is. Gotta watch all the idiots do their crappy jobs like this. Okay, so we're about that later. Well, this is slowly clearing up. Kinda. I still don't know what they're standing around for. Values employees. Yes. Valued employees. So, restrooms are working. Clearing people up. What's this? Can't fight in a stool, but what? Staff room. Staff rooms all over the place. What the hell? If you have to provide Wi Fi access, no. But there are. Uh, these are laptop desks, so people can plug in their laptops here and stuff to recharge them. When is this closed? What time is it? It's 9 o'clock. Do we not have a contract? I don't think we have a contract. Cuppa. Display fridges. Oh, we can do this one. 640. Sure. It's like that contract. Let them do their business there. Five hundred thirty eight people in a day.
No, you can't have one of those, Jeff. They're not currently available. People out here waiting for stuff. Like it's a bus. Get on the bus, you losers. Valued customers. There's no valued customers. Not when they stand around doing nothing. I'm not sure. Again, I have no idea what these guys are standing around for. I don't know what they want. Tired in these restrooms. We got plenty of restrooms. There's no reason for people to not be using them. Still don't know what that's for. Zap. The staff room. Make sure the staff room is accessible through walls and zones. Um. I don't know what they're saying. They don't. There's plenty of access to these staff rooms. I don't understand the issue, especially when there's nobody actually here. This guy. Oh, we don't have a staff room over here. Is that what the issue is? They can't get back over. How we resolve this problem? We had this problem yesterday, and I thought we resolved this. So we need a staff room. I don't know why they need a staff room. Yeah, I don't understand what the issue is. No staff washrooms. Oh, they don't need that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is available to everybody. Anybody can use these. Yeah, these. I get this is for women. That's for men. And they're available to everyone. Passenger employees, that's anyone. So maybe they just want a specific restroom? That's kind of dumb. Yeah, we'll make a little one over here for them so they can stop their whining. Oh, that seems kind of dumb. to do it correctly, though. Dun, 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 dun. Now, can we 
So I just noticed stuff <laughs> earlier. Building tools. Copy and paste mode. Drag and copy and paste objects. Hold shift to pick copy. Hold left shift to pick copy. Well, there's a nice little thing right there. Wow. You cannot have it for both sexes? Of course we can. And we're going to, to save space. They don't like it, you can go find a new job. Look, it's Jeff on a Buffalo Shuttle. Let's make sure security is all set up here still. Any gender but only employees. Executives only. Specifies the passion is executives. No. Everybody. And there. Quit your whining. Still don't know why they're having the issue getting anywhere. Best shuttle from 115th, Monday through Friday. <laughs> you work every day, though, Jeff. The shuttle runs every day. So I don't know. I don't know why these guys are lingering in here. Because they have a way out. I like to go. I don't understand the how to get out of here. Lineup is for using the sinks. I don't know what it's for. We got a urinal here and a sink to wash our hands. I don't know what they're doing here. So he's using the urinal. Probably won't wash his hands. Oh, he's going to wash his hands. Oh, look, he's even running water. And now he's stuck. So there's something about this area where they're trying to get to their job. But they can't get out of here. But that doesn't make sense. Hey, Olus, welcome back. Again, I don't know what the the hang-up is for getting out of these bathrooms. Because they're not telling us what the problem is. I mean, somebody's having a problem over here, it looks like, right? No, that's gone, too. So I don't know why they're hanging out over there. Now, this is the best. These are busy, because nobody else wants to walk any farther down this way. Some people like hanging out. I thought it was hanging out in kitchens. Oh, yes, it is. Google's. Let me get that started. The important part of the tag. Now the question is: We're going to do a scout report for the past twenty for forty-eight hours because. Um, you know, we were supposed to do it yesterday but at the start of the stream, but a lot of stuff happened. So, you know, ISP hates me. But anyway, so we'll do this for the last 48 hours, to be fair, for tomorrow, or from yesterday's thing. Dun, dun, dun. So again, so you have bigger, you'll have a bigger window 
to uh, predict. Has Scout been seen in the last 48 hours? Not the 24 hours, 48 hours. And I'll give you five minutes to get your predictions in. Okay, I'll say, get to work. Should have this with my flower, of course. Look at all the people coming in. I don't know who those people are. Oh, franchise staff. These guys that work in the little restaurants that we have. Target has been met in three days. What? How come? Oh, because we have transportation issues. Had EV charge, and it's not an option, of course. Oh, weather. Um, weather the last couple of days has been kind of warm. Basically, not a cloud in the sky. I think uh, temperature at stream time was 28 Celsius, 83, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Today. Yesterday was fairly similar. Those guys are getting through no problem. Could these guys check in like they're supposed to? Or boarding like they're supposed to? So these planes are taking off and stuff, so that's good. So there's Jeff's, uh, comp Jeff's competition right there. This is a A319 Airbus. So it looks like there's less people in here, or is Hello, it the everyone. same amount? My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Maybe at a second door? For second door for what? Oh, you mean the second door in the restroom? Um, I don't think there's any room up there, was there? I guess it could another one up there. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's going to matter, because it usually doesn't block people from moving. They can move through each other, so it's, as you can see, that guy just walked through everybody. The doors aren't, I don't think, the issue. It's something else that they need to get to their jobs that are in a different area for whatever reason. So that's a passenger because he's got bags with him. See, he's got no problem moving in and out. I don't understand why anybody else is, why those guys are having issues moving. Look how fast they can walk. <sighs> I don't know.
I made 10 grand the previous hour. So loan repayments, I don't know how much longer that has to go, probably a while. A little bit of construction, no big deal. Not getting any more bonuses anymore for reasons. I won't go. Oh, we need to move this planner. That's actually not in a good spot. There. That one there. There. Kill that one. Kill that one too. Are those all employees in the janitor, 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 security, service technician? So the answer is yes. These are all workers. And these are the female workers. Again, I don't know why they're stuck here. Is this a security area? There's no reason why they can't get out of here. Because this is the way out for everybody, basically. Take that out. Let's see if that helps. Probably not. Oh, no, look. These guys are walking away. Or were they in there? See, I don't know what the deal is. So we clear this out of the security thing. Oh, that was it. So it's the doors being secure. No? <laughs> that wasn't the answer for everybody. That guy just walked through the wall. No. Here's a non worker zone outside the doors there. No, these are all. Workers have access to everything. Security zones are the only thing that prevent workers from going into certain spots. Look, he just walked through the wall. It's this one. So a person can't pass security checkpoint, make sure the security checkpoint is accessible. So I don't know who that is. I don't know. Look, they're just walking through the wall. So now we're actually getting stuff about this. Some of our security checkpoints. Let's see if this guy can make it out. He walked in, no problem. He walked out, no problem. So how about we do this? Let's clear this out, see if it helps. doesn't seem to matter. I don't know what the problem is. See, he just walked out, no problem. So wherever he's going, it's not a big deal. Well, I just did something. Maybe it's a non-worker or something. No, that's not it. The break area? 
Yes, I'm sure it is. Person can't pass a security checkpoint. Make sure that a security checkpoint entrance is accessible through walls via zone areas. So that's what this door is for. Oh, maybe these. Here, let's do some of this. No. If that helps, because this actually might be the problem here. Okay, so clear that out, rebuild this. It's not helping. <laughs> well, at least they haven't noticed it yet. I don't know why this guy is standing here. Are they walking out? Again, I don't understand why they're stuck here. They've got multiple ways to get out. They can go through here, they can go through up here. This guy's just walking through the walls anyway. Why wow, we have no people. no one's coming over here either because this is all crowded. I don't know what what the issue is here either. have enough workers. There's no reason why people shouldn't be able to check in. There's self-check-ins and everything. So I don't understand. All our workers. We just arrived for the day? No. Going home for the day, maybe. Want food. There's trash cans there. Again, I don't know what these people are doing. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the eighth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Okay, so uh, prediction is done. I hope everybody got the predictions in. So the question is, has Scout been seen in the last 48 hours? Yes, she has. She was here... Was it yesterday or the day before? The day before she was here. She wasn't... I don't think Mrs. Gippy saw her yesterday. But... Hashtag, yep. Or oh, sorry. Yep, hashtag Mrs. Keepy's cat. She saw she was definitely seen on Monday afternoon. And I don't know if she saw her yesterday or not. Just a second. Let me check.
Okay, just a second. I'm going to have Mrs. Gimpy <laughs> give you the little story. Because it was yesterday she saw her. Okay, make sure you come close enough. Now tell the story for yesterday for Scout. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay, Scout report. Yesterday we saw Scout. We weren't even looking for her and she followed us. And all of a sudden I turned around and there she was. And, and uh, the owner, one of the owners was walking with her German Shepherd, which Scout does not like. And she saw Scout following us, running after us. And I turned around and she says, Oh, she loves you. She said it twice. She repeated it. Uh huh. <laughs> she loves you. Okay, that's it. <laughs> She's free to go now. So there's your Scout report. Happy. She even got caught walking Scout. Well, Scout following her. She even got caught. So, again, how do we clear these people out? They're sitting down, so it's a little bit more... Free. Again, I don't know what these guys are looking for. I wish it would tell you what they were trying to do. Is there a way actually to do that? Follow. Blah. Again, this doesn't help us too much. So everybody's getting hung up in the restrooms again. Is there a way to clear them out? Oh, I wonder if I shut it down. Will I get rid of them? Not to leak the room. So I cleared them out a little. Huh, I wonder if that'll help over here. Oh. No, it shouldn't matter the size of the room. Okay, so close the room. doesn't seem to be affecting the situation there. Doesn't help. Now this one's being used. <sighs> this is a staff only restroom. It doesn't seem to uh, stop them from doing what they're doing. Phone. So I don't understand. There's something they need to do their job, but it's something related to the security zones. But I don't know what that would be. Cause that's all fine. That's it. that make them all take off? That'd be really annoying. Nope. Okay, so that wasn't it. Security doors over here. That's fine.
Doesn't seem to matter. Staff there, staff there. I don't know what's going on here. Why they're stuck. So I removed the security zone, it doesn't seem to matter. So wherever they're trying to go, there's <coughs> a security zone before between where they want to be and where they are. All I have to do is walk outside this door though, and they should be able to get where they need to go. That's what I don't get. People waiting for luggage is never, never going to come, or they're just sitting around waiting. And what's happening? Is this. Oh, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, so this isn't even open because they're closed between midnight and 4. I'm getting hung up in here. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You overlay, we don't need that. This is our room overlay, but it doesn't help too much. Zones. Again, everything was working fine, <laughs> and all of a sudden it didn't, and it didn't really change anything. It's all connected, that's connected. Oh, maybe it's this up here. No, oh, this doesn't matter. Hey bag of water, stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Man, if that fixed it, no. This is it. That's technically not connected, kind of, sort of. I'm gonna just fill this hole in. Fill that all in with concord sidewalks, and then we'll do security zone all through here. That help? Will it help once it's all built? It's really screwing over my income here. These guys not working because it's affecting our flights. Yeah, maybe not too much, but we're still making money, just not as much as we should be, I think. Not to mention that you guys are getting paid for nothing. Speed it up a little bit, get the stuff built real quick, see if it fixes the problem. Just passengers has just arrived, right? Yeah. What time is it? Two o'clock in the morning. So, these guys still can't access to where they need to be.
that's accessible. We don't need that up there. So I don't know. It's the only thing that's in fairly new is these new stands for these medium flights because we had to add. Oh, where's the buses? The buses over here, but they don't. That's not a problem for them. This is all accessible. Or is it? That. Yeah, it's all accessible. There's no problem there. All the people just standing around. Employee can't reach their job. Make sure it's accessible through walls and zones. I don't know what kind of job they're trying to get to. Because everything's accessible. Let me put a door here, see if this makes a difference. I doubt it. Again, we have a door up there. This door down here shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. People going through check in. Don't know why this guy stopped there, because there's nobody working there, that's why. Only have 10 aircraft, 266 on route. Staff, passenger service agents. Only 10 jobs currently needed. This guy's checking his stuff in. He's gonna throw it in the canister. No, just gonna check in and go. This guy looks like he's got luggage. So you just throw it into one of these two more than likely. Or not. Oh, he's doing carry on. Fine. Don't check your bags. Deprive us of money. So many people not doing, going to the right places. All these bathrooms packed. I don't understand where they need, they want to be going. For when they're, well, whatever. Where are you guys going? I don't know. I was doing so well. I had everything running so smoothly and then it's all borked up now and I don't know why. All I did was add these two up here and it shouldn't affect it anything in a negative way. Seven fifty seven. Clipping his wing on the hangar.
I don't understand how some people can come in, use the restroom, and leave. And well, these guys can't. See, look, those guys are going out no problem. What's the deal? You are a ramp agent, so... I'm using the car to get over there, once it gets there. So I think it's because these guys want to go outside of the security area, do their work. But this is the only way out. I don't understand why they just can't go out this way. I don't understand the issue. Because everybody else has no problem using it. Down here, we go this way. Oh, we can. Yeah, we can leave that there. Service technicians. We have three jobs available. We have five people. Don't even know what service technicians actually do. I'll hire you. Yeah, I'll hire you too. to do. Janitor. We have 26 hired. Six jobs available. I don't understand. There's 10 guys standing around doing nothing. Do your jobs. Okay. Security. That's an exit. Huh, I wonder if they're trying to get into this area, but they shouldn't be. We've had no problem with people getting in and out of this spot before, so I don't know what the problem with the guys in the bathroom is. This is all secure. That's all secure. We haven't had any issues with this. Guys can do their jobs. Mm -hmm. This is all unchanged up here for a very long time, so that shouldn't be an issue. Mm -hmm. This shouldn't be an issue either. God, if that was the issue, that's going to be annoying. Those little blocks that weren't doing anything. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. People are checking in. People are picking up their luggage. It's just we have 
so much junk in going on here. I don't know why. I don't know what these guys are so dis confused by. Your parking lots with cars in them. Well, somewhat. There's a fuel truck going out. This is for buses and people and whatever. I could add more in here for more bus spots. I don't think that's going to matter. Really? That's what we have the subway for. We have taxis. I should probably build a road here <laughs> to connect up with this. So I'm going to bulldoze the fence up until that point. Fighter information screen, need more. How do you figure that? Is that actually helpful? <laughs> I don't know if that's actually helped them or not. That one there. That one there, this one here. Let's see if this makes any difference at all. Oops. A little bit of lag there. Change that. I don't think this is going to matter, but. Because you see people using them, but I don't know if that's going to affect these guys at all. Because we have two right there. People are standing in front of them. This is what these guys are for. It's their job. Directions or departure times can visit a manned information desk for assistance. So nobody even comes to talk to him. They sit here all day and nobody talks to him. You can't find a staff room. I don't know how you can't find a staff room, it's right there. Maybe that's what these guys, that's what this guy's, that's what their issue is. They don't have a staff room, but they don't need one, do they? Why do they need a staff room? Here, we'll do this. Is that it? That was it. <sighs> that was it. They wanted a room to go lounge around in.
The mystery of doors? No, it's not the mystery of doors. Is they wanted a um, staff room to lounge around in here for whatever reason. They said they didn't have access to one, despite the fact that we have two huge ones over in the other terminal. The union mandate is slacking off. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Look at them. They're all sitting on their ass, taking a break. Thumbs, all of them. Well, cleared out the bathrooms, at least. Okay, so that mystery has been solved. Now this mystery... Ah, these did help, it looks like. Because they were all picked up for that one. They're all standing in front of that one. Including that one. So Hobo was right at that part at least. The screens. That's helping somewhat. It's not everything, but it's definitely helping. I should move these up along the wall though. Can I actually move them? I don't think I can actually move the screens. I can't even click on them now. There, move that there. Clear that uh, little pathway up a little bit, maybe. You're tired. That's nice. Bus Aren't isn't good enough for these people. Stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it, you ignorant meatbag. Yeah, yeah. Subway. 171 people an hour. That's not very many. These guys. Not hitting the sales targets, mainly but that's because this is related to all this stuff here. It's all messed up. So look, this is a big staff room with all kinds of places for people to rest. We should probably put some more in here too. over here for a little bit. Lazy bastards. How much money are we making off these vending machines? What tell us? Do we trench at? Okay. So the shops, they don't sell crap. I don't know what the point of the shops are. They, know, they don't sell any type of stuff. They never seem to make money. Vending machines, there we go. Oh. 80 bucks. 180 bucks. Average an hour though is 250. Can we cheat? Fees. Long term vending machine markup. Only 5%, huh? How about we do. Uh, Seven and a half percent markup there. Charge them for the bathrooms. A dollar. How much can we get so it won't get irked? Five bucks to use the bathroom. That'll slow them down.
That'll work. Captive audience and all, right? Got people looking for food and they're standing right next to a vending machine. So all these people, I still don't know... Are they trying to get out of here, or are they trying to go someplace else? And why do we only have one bus coming in? Let me do more bus stops down here. Let's do that. Terminal. Infrastructure. Bus stops. That one there. I oh, can't do that one. Streets, asphalt. Then we'll do some uh, glass bus stop stands so people can you know stand under those. Is that all you can say? That was really poorly done. It was. Okay, so we got a couple more bus stops in there. I don't know if it's going to matter, but we'll see. Subway up to 150, oh, down to 158 per hour. Wow, look at all the empty parking. Our traffic flow isn't very good for whatever reason. I don't know why. Let's see, should we have, I don't know. Okay. Right in the airport when their flights check in with already closed due to a lack of transit structures. Build subway stations, bus stops are similar to a issue. But I don't see the problem. Yeah, that's done. Okay. It's a terminal. 
Lights. Okay, so we have two. Wow, that one came in pretty quick, didn't it? Wow, they got here really fast. Like they were already on the way in. Nobody's using the drop off for cars, pick up and drop offs, but that's because I heard we can. I'm wondering if I get rid of this seating, will they move on to their spots where they're supposed to be more quickly? Because most of the seating in real airports is in the, the terminals, right? It's not in the entrances. There's some seating, but just not a lot, if I remember right. Zone. What the hell is that? Really? What's your problem? So you're trying to get all the way over here? Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the 8th year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. I don't know this, understand the issue of getting over here. Nobody else has problems getting over here. I don't understand. Fifteen hundred people have been served in this restaurant. Fifteen hundred. Seems a little uh, off. Maybe. I wish we could pull a fire alarm and watch everybody run out. That'd be more helpful, I think, at this point. Subway, still 154. So I've got taxis going. Somebody needs to clean these uh, parking spots off. There's a lot of uh, wear and tear there. Is that a repair thing? Oh, okay. It gets rid of all that. So is that something we can set set up to do automatically? Light control, generator, phase, that generation, no. Dashboard. 
you know, 54 unread messages. You know, all those emails I don't read. Airport worth is 3.2 million. CEO worth is 5.9 million. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but. Total processed. Highest average rating. Airport is 82%. Security is 70%. I don't know. It's so bad there. You now, it's funny as we have a different um, security. Like this is our medium sized security station, or whatever you want to call it. So we can do passports and stuff. But security checkpoints, the large one. Look how large this thing is. This is huge. Must be connected to an open zone. So we could take those two out and put this one in. But that's just gonna make the long that much the lines that much longer. I think this is good enough, right? Dun 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 dun. So these guys just aren't working. They wanted just a place to sit around and do nothing. Well, they got it. At least they're not hanging around in the bathroom, taking up spots. Come on, the people. I don't like you guys sitting around doing nothing. Get your flights. I guess I really should extend this sidewalk out so I can just exit up here. It'd probably make a little sense there. Hey, it's out of door. Clear up some people from sitting on their butts here, taking up space. I don't know if we actually got them out of the airport, though. These guys are just supposed to be sitting around waiting for their luggage that may never arrive. Okay, let's do some more uh, of these things.
Oh, they're not using this one at all over here. Not sure if that's good or bad. There's a luggage that survived the check-in process. Oh, we can put bus stops and everything up through here, can I? Let's do that. Oh, we have to destroy the sidewalk then. Oh, people down here looking for bus rides. Wow, it's a lot of people. Wasted materials. Hey, bag of water. It is time to take a break. Is it? Go stretch your legs. Okay. Your next break is in two hours. And we'll throw in some lights there, too. Let's let this go and some normals. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break, but we'll switch over to uh, dog videos if you want to watch those. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching.
Okay, I'm back. Happy Wednesday. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so, again, this people. Maybe they're, they're tired. Restroom's right there. Pay your five bucks. Trash cans? We've got trash cans. Why aren't the trash cans being used? So, why are these guys just standing around doing nothing? Hmm. A sidewalk out there. I could do more bus stops and whatever, but those don't look like they're being used. I'm just tired. So I think we have plenty of public transportation between what is it? Six bus stops, subway, taxis. We have parking lots going. So vending machines, yeah, making a little bit of money off of those after 271. Bathroom fees, there we go. <laughs> franchise rent, making money off of that. Food franchise sales cut. Hmm. Like four hundred bucks. Oh, that's right, we're not making a whole lot of money off for some of these uh these guys because reasons. What time is it? Two no, it's just midnight, so they just closed out for the night. This one probably gonna con we're gonna lose a contract on this one more than likely because there's just not about people through here right now. And this one up here is probably in the same boat, right? Yeah, there's we just don't have enough people coming through for reasons. I don't know why my employees are lounging in here so much. It's because they don't have anything to do. See, we're processing, or we got passengers and stuff. They're being taken off planes and everything. It's just this. <laughs> I guess we'll just get rid of the seats and see if that helps the situation at all. Nobody's really checking in over here for whatever reason. Probably because the flight. Oh, because of the flights are late and everything. That's probably what it is, right? Yeah, look at all these flights that are late. Uh, let's see, auto planner. And flight situation or separations three minutes. Let's do always delay. Prompt on each delay. Delay your small flights if necessary. Send away any delayed flights. Well, if we do that, that should get rid of people, right? Should get rid of people. So let's do that. Hopefully that'll help clear out some of these people in here.
So they're getting off the bus, but then they're stuck here. Oh, because they're waiting to get in there. Okay, so that worked a little bit. Waiting down here for a bus. Okay, so all these people have nothing to do. They're just standing around. Looking out the windows. Mm. Again, it's uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, so all the shops are closed. I wonder if we can do regular shops here. So shop counter, shelves. Try to suck them into the store here. See if it this actually works. Probably won't. Just do that. See what kind of contracts we can get with this. Paper plane. Size is only nine. <laughs> Not a big desire here. Okay, there we go. So, size. Ours right, is 94. Or 99, they want 74. It's okay. Four shelves and a cashier desk. Let's try this out, see what happens. You just wanted four shelves and that's it. So I'll take this contract and see how it goes. I suspect they won't sell squat because that's the way it usually works. Passengers, nothing. Wow, look at all these. So people are just walking around, not doing much. Not going to. If they're here for f to pick up a flight, they're not doing that. Bathrooms way overcrowded. Why are planes delayed? Because of various reasons. Well, not really various reasons. It's sorry, went the wrong one still. So this. So, no available check-in desks for this flight due to no active check-in desk and the sign stands terminal available. Related notifications, no available check-in desks for Bobo due to whatever. So these are the check-in desks, right? I think we need more of these. But, this is self-check-in, so I don't understand the problem. <laughs> Oh, we have lots of staff. They're just not uh, doing anything at the moment. 
It's a uh, passenger service agents, right? Passenger service agents. We have 32 hired, but only nine jobs are currently being done. You only see two sitting there, but we actually have 32 people hired. They're doing nothing. Hey, Uzi, welcome back. So, like, our security jobs. We have 21 hired, 14 jobs are being used, and there's five jobs available. So we have nine people walk, or sorry, seven people doing nothing. You only see two sitting here, or doing their jobs. Check and close that both. Oh, so that's done. No flight scheduled. No flight scheduled. See? Could do more. Could get rid of the queues and make more space for these guys. Oh no, we can only get so close because of that. Could get rid of this and put in some more down here. See if that helps. Probably won't. Again, we've got self check in, so these things don't really aren't as necessary. That's the funny part is these guys, the self check ins. You don't need these with self check ins, which I don't get. See, like this guy, he's fine. He throws his baggage in that thing, and he goes there, and it goes off to where it needs to go. See, I don't understand what the issue is with checking in when there's so much self-checking available. So again, I don't understand. That seems to be clearing up a little bit up here at least. Doesn't seem to be as many people standing around. Bathrooms are clearing up somewhat. These guys are standing around doing nothing. Oh, don't tell me. Are they actually making sales here? Wow, they're actually making sales here. Location, 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 apparently. the main door. You can just do some more self-check-in and see if that helps any. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, Please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at GimpyNee. 
he tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. See, we're good. We got people over here, we got people eating here. Doing well up there. Still people loitering around here, don't know why. Again, I wish I could see what they what they were looking for. Why are they just standing around? Toilets are getting full again. So we must have had a flight just come in or something. All these people eating from the vending machines. <laughs> Subway. I don't know why they're standing there. Have you been feeding the bag of shredder? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, not a lot of baggage going down this way. So again, these are all self-check-ins here. So all people just have to do is come up and do their thing like this guy's going to do. Maybe. Oh, he checked in. Now he throws this bag in there. And apparently he's got carry-on, too. I could redo this security checkpoint to the bigger one. Look at all the people walking around. Oh, those are our workers. Never mind. 200 people. So what's the other terminal look like? It's got people walking through it. The so planes have arrived. And our slackers up here. God. Well, again, we have planes landing, so that's a plus, right? It's just we just don't have any people actually leaving? So the store is doing nice. 155 sales. So we get a little bonus out of that, I think. Again, so crowded here. No idea why. These are bus stops. Look at this. <laughs> What's the deal? Can't find a way. Make sure the path is accessible to the What? I can walk. There's nobody blocking nothing blocking them from walking anywhere. Are they trying to get over to the parking? No, there's there's nobody in the parking lots anymore either. Slowly clearing out. Which is fine. Check-in closed at 820. It is... 
almost nine o'clock. Checking close at five fifty. Checking close at seven fifty. So if check-in is closed, that means the flight should be getting ready to go. And the flight scheduled there. Can't, why are they all, all these people? I don't know why they're doing there. I wish there was information for that. It might be bathrooms again. How many bathrooms do we need? <laughs> these people can't control it. Luggage going on down there as far as flights go. This one. Boarding in progress. Boarding not started. Boarding not started. Boarding not started. Boarding in progress. Boarding in progress. So these guys are doing whatever they need to do, I guess. That's right, these are the boarding. <laughs> Boarding gates for those two. Lock stand connection. Can't change or clear stand on connection while the stand is active. Flight, no big deal. So this is their check-in. It's just walk up in and go. Walk in boarding. But there's no people. I don't know why. I don't know why people can't get aren't going to where they need to be. Look at this. Don't know what they're waiting for. I mean, vending machines are open. There's a trash can right there, no reason not to use it. These guys are just standing around staring at things. Check ins are all ready to go. Check-in desk for blah, blah, blah. To no activated check-in desk in the side stands terminal available. But... They're all, this is all medium air stuff, isn't it? You see, all the small aircraft is good.
It's the mediums. It's the complaining. No available check-ins. But that's what these guys are for. These are for the mediums, though. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the eighth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yes, thank you, everybody who's donated so far and maybe donated in the future. Get how many of the stands are attached to this one. Five of them. Only three there. Okay. So we need to divert at least one more of these to that one. So I get those three there, and then these three to the other one. So that should be okay. That might help things a little bit. I don't see how, because again, self-check-ins. <laughs> self-check-ins are supposed to mean you don't need these guys, unless they're affecting the check-ins for these, too. Maybe they are, I don't know. Do this and run the the belt up that way. And put another one here and run the belt up that way too. Run it this way. Put a couple of these right here. Let's try that. See if this helps any. They can be able to get into these though. <laughs> that might be a little cramped. You can always push out the wall. I'll push out the wall. Let's do that. Pull those things. And floors. More marbled floor. Is it that one? I think it's this one. There we go. 
Let will see if this helps any. I don't think it will, but we'll see. I'll move in the right direction. Yes. See if this helps at all. I don't know if this one's going to be able to get in here, but eh, it can stand on the on the conveyor belt. It's not that bad. Flight and flight and flight. Very well organized. <laughs> this whole area is very well organized. <laughs> uh, could always push this in more a little bit too if we had to. These are employees, you don't count. These are all scheduled flights for the day. These are all the messed up ones of the day. No available check-in desks. No activated check-in desk in the sign stance terminal area. That's okay. Oh. Is that what the issue is? Is because I started using terminals? Is this the problem? Because I started using terminals and they're not interacting with each other? Oh, that might be what it is. Can we get rid of this? Get rid of the terminals. Let's see if this helps at all. Well, that cleared everything up, didn't it? Look at everybody go. That was the problem, it's because I was using terminals. Ta-da. Problem solved there. Well, maybe not problem solved, but problem understood. Okay, vehicles. Vehicles don't really care too much now. They'll be addressing everything, right? Sign terminal none. So, do your jobs. Get everybody move. Schedule check-in desk for this flight is currently blocked by another flight and check check-in cannot begin. That's okay. So we want to do this and we'll just oh this delay.
It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Birmingham. Okay, let's see how much uh, luggage makes it through the filtering system. <laughs> That's a lot of destroyed luggage. How are these people even happy about this? Is it really my fault if they're bringing illegal goods into the airport? It's not my fault. Doing my job to keep everybody safe. <laughs> Who cares if you're, everything you own gets destroyed? <laughs> uh. Still want to know what what is it that this one is catching that it's not being caught by the other five? I suppose how it's supposed to be. I agree. This is how it's supposed to be. Hey, something made it through. Oh, almost two in a row. I wonder if we're getting paid for the luggage before it gets onto the airplane. Will it make it? Oh, it made it through. It made it through. So again, this is cash. This is drugs. This is... Explosives, I think. There's firearms and I don't know what this one is. What's this one? I don't know. This is under the conveyor belt system. Okay, so it's uh, organics. You need to scan for a specific file. So organics, gun. Explosives, drugs, and money. So I wonder what the organics are exactly. I'm guessing that falls under the drugs category? I don't know. I guess we're being a little uh, picky, aren't we? Use detecting suspicious contents. Suspicious. Doesn't say what kind of suspicious, just suspicious. I can't keep it. That's the thing, it automatically gets routed off, and it can't really do anything with it. So, these guys not working too hard because a lot of the luggage gets destroyed. Just waiting for luggage trucks here, it looks like. There they come. Jeff Bata beating up on a commando. Come on, slackers. There you go. One whole bag. We get paid when they come off, it looks like. That's good. Wow, I'm up to a million. How'd that happen? So we pay this one. Total cost is 1.7 million. We still owe 800,000. Looks like. Okay, is that right? 164 hours. So what is that? Still two weeks. We 
Okay. Sure. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. No more loan. So I get some of our income back now. Repairs. Let's do a repair. Wow, we don't pay that much to our, our staff, do we? Administrative, what's this? Ta corporate taxes and loan interest. Well, we don't care about loan interest anymore. Fine, so we haven't been fined. That's good. Corporate taxes. How do we get to avoid the corporate taxes? Safest airport in the world. Also, the least amount of luggage carried anywhere. Well, delivered anywhere. Somebody's carrying it, it's just not necessarily making it to where it's supposed to. Okay, that. clean trick. I don't know how they end up down here. They're supposed to be up there. Are they the, these the ones I didn't assign after I bought them? Trying to move these guys up here because the small aircraft don't use the catering and cleaning services. They should be up there. I don't know why they end up down here all the time. Look, I assigned a bunch of cars to here and they never stay here for whatever reason. Sign parking none. Isn't this technically parking? Now they're saying they're assigned. It's a little crowded. What happened? Oh, I'm waiting for that guy to come out. And it's all locked up. Traffic jam.
Look. Why does the tank 2 have anything in it? down to 50 fill up or get some more fuel signed here look at all the people trying to get through security A little bit of a way. After they stand in line for security, they have to go use the restroom. Or stand in line down there too. It looks like. Wow! Look at all this mess down here. Janitors, what the hell are you? Like how this is the men's bathroom and this is the woman's bathroom. I think that's what's set up. Oh, no, maybe not. This is the men's bathroom. Where is it? Oh, no, this is the men's bathroom. This is the woman's bathroom. Damn it. So apparently men can't hit the toilet. Or use a sink. Or use a urinal. Janitors, <laughs> 26 or higher, 25. We need six jobs. Okay, janitors. Reject, 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 reject. Nobody wants to work here right now. More importantly, 278 pass or customers here out of 125, 78 to 240. So still not a lot of people going to here for whatever reason, or because it's more expensive than this thing. Because this is a restaurant. This is more of a cafeteria bar. better janitors okay so business is booming what time is it oh, I'm suffering to so few people here now they no problem with their quota there this one lots of business there this one still not too great only hitting half for whatever reason. Self check in. Oh, let's carry on. our bus situation going. Wow, all these people. Sure the path is built through walls and zones. I'm not sure where he's trying to go. There's plenty of wood. he's got no problem getting away over there. Are they trying to cross the street? Yep, they were trying to cross the street. 
Now they get hit by cars and buses. <laughs> well, some of them are trying to cross the street. Sure, where they're trying to cross down here, though. are making 20 grand an hour now with that, uh, that loan taking its piece and get some bonus oh it's actually most of that's some bonuses isn't it because again not all the flights have been processed yet worst designed airport ever Passenger service agent, why are you just standing there? Look, janitors. So did that poor abused bathroom get fixed yet? Nope, not quite yet. Oh, janitors in there cleaning stuff up now. It's always a great sound coming out of an airplane, especially when it doesn't have propellers. It's midnight. So, we lose a contract on this. Sure, looks like it. Crane's Burgers. Not a big uh, requirement there. Only eighteen dollars for rent, though. Easter Bohem, 748 rent. Sales for a bonus is 230 though. Italian Kitchen, 205. Yeah, let's see if we can pull that off. How was this one? Valentino, 205. Like this one. Sometimes if you can't meet their uh, requirements for sales and stuff, they cancel the contract. But we get over it. And lazy staff just sitting around in here doing nothing. So it looks like this restroom has been cleaned up. Good job, janitors. These guys stand in the line. That's right, this is a, a walk up boarding, self boarding. Oh, no problem. Checking desk currently blocked by another flight and checking in up again, that's okay. It'll just be delayed. This plane just arrived. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. 
If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Nee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. On this rating stuff that I didn't even look at. Okay, so airline satisfaction. Somebody's not satisfied with this at all. Because baggage? <laughs> uh, okay, this is passenger satisfaction. So really only a main issue here is uh, food, toilets, and that kind of stuff. Uh, current security rating. 61%? No. Baggage correctly destroyed. Recent dangerous uh, baggage cur uh, correctly destroyed. Improve by routing dangerous baggage through a baggage destroyer. Destroy if... Uh, decreases if non-dangerous baggage is destroyed. So what's considered dangerous then? Baggage correctly scanned in Tier 3 scanner. Recent very suspicious baggage correctly scanned by a Tier 3 conveyor belt scanner. Improved by routing uh, very suspicious baggage rejected by a Tier 2 scanner through a Tier 3 scanner. Oh. Increases of baggage accepted by a Tier 2 scanner is routed through. Oh, so there's a whole... Ugh. So what I need to be doing is changing the order of uh, scanning. So this one should be doing the scanning first after these guys. Or before those guys. I have to re change everything. Scanning station three. I get scanner two. I guess scanner one. So it should go through this one first. And if it gets rejected, then it goes into the other ones. To these guys. And this is the last one, which I don't even have set up because this is a uh, stuff. So we got to move stuff around here. This should be the last step. See, this is the problem. <laughs> so I'm destroying baggage that shouldn't be necessarily destroyed. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do a little bit of rerouting. Actually, just have to clear out that, put that down there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, cause I take this out, put that one down here, and go this way. And we have to change this route too. that this goes this way so if it gets rejected it has to definitely it has to do how that work Yeah, we actually have to move all these guys over to the side. Because if it's clear, it should just go on through. 
it's only suspicious stuff, so I actually want to clear all these guys out. It's only money. Let's do that. This is a tier one, right? It's a tier one scanner there. These are the tier two. So they have passed. I'll go through there and then go hit the tier three guy. He'll be at the last station up here. I think that'll work. Okay, so non-suspicious stuff, or if it looks good, it goes all the way through, right? No, that can't be right. No, that can't be right. Because <laughs> everything's got to be scanned, right? Yeah, we actually have to take all this out. Okay. So that... Clear this out. Yeah, no matter what, everything is getting sent this way. It's just that we have to, like, double scan it, I think. So, organics. This way? I don't know. If it's suspicious, do we want it sent? I don't. This is what I'm trying to think. So this thing's. This doesn't pick up everything. Or does it? It doesn't. It's only a tier one. So it should go to a tier two, and then it hits tier three at the very end. So it doesn't pick up anything. It just goes on through? If it, do, if it doesn't think it's suspicious? No, I think we'll just still have it go through all this guy, these guys too. That must be in secure zone. Does this whole, whole area be secure? Can you put people on the track thing? Well, they'll stand on it, but it won't move them. So you can't do what you think you can do. They do. There is a there is a people accelerator thing though that we're using over here. This is basically see. it's a walk. You know, make you walk faster. So yes, there's a people version of it, but these don't make don't do that to people. Okay, it's tier one. So organics. So I'll put you here. Guns. There too. 
Actually, I want to put that the last one. So this is the last spot. This is a manned position there, so everything's going to end up here eventually, no matter what. Because he's the la he's the final Gimpy say. Is raising money for the National MS Society for the eighth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Don't really have enough room here. Let's do this then. So this gets rejected, it goes up this way. Then we actually have to go up that way. Exactly, it's run them all through the scanners and then have it go through that guy. If they make it, they make it. a little snaky here, I think. It's organic. Maybe making this more complicated than it needs to be. I think I am. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the reject one. I should actually go... Way this way. Probably up that way. These tier two guys. We have to have them go off to the side or something. I wish I could uh, change the direction of their stuff, but I can't. So it gets rejected to go to this one. But if it doesn't get rejected, it just moves through the system, right? Should go this way. It doesn't. Ugh. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Okay, let's clear this stuff out. Can could actually just move him up to here. Yeah, actually. Short janitors again. Why? kill all this stuff because we don't know where we're going to actually need that. People get their luggage eventually. It's not that big of a deal if they lose it now, right? Because we can't allow bombs onto the planes. And good job, Platter Pirate. Kill everyone. Good job. Okay, so that's how we want to do that. Okay, so if they make it all the way through, 
and get rejected here, they'll curve back around and he'll get final say up here. And if necessary, we send it there for destruction. Not super elegant, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Aren't your legs getting stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch damn it, you ignorant meatbag. I'll do this. We get rejected here, we'll send them back this way, and that. Yeah, that'll work. No, it won't. So again, this one's going to be sent in the back this way. Now, is this actually going to accomplish what I want to accomplish? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how this is actually going to work. Oh, actually. So if it gets rejected, it goes this way. But that doesn't get scanned anymore. Actually, I think it just make this nice little conga on well, snake line. This. That. This. Go position so we can't actually get that without space. It works here because there's space between the two, right? Okay, well, then let's. You look into. What? Who? The Platter Pirate? Yes, he's a lackey. And he's very good at his job. So he's clearing this stuff as it makes it through. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's getting all the stuff that's coming over here. It's being diverted for whatever reason, but he's saying it's okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. So hopefully he's destroying the right stuff. Yeah, we're just having him check every bag. Doesn't matter if they get diverted or not. Very so much in the red. A lot of projects. Um, oh, our main problem right now is because um, <laughs> we've been diverting all this baggage for scanning purposes. <laughs> and it's affecting our, our uh, planes, I'm sure. 
our flights are not going out in a timely manner. But now that this has been rectified, except for this missing bag here. Look at that thing. It made it through here, but got mad by that. No, we went out there. Got nabbed by this and still got there. So, this was marked as suspicious, wasn't it? Let's see if it makes it through. Yep, so it wasn't so suspicious. So, lots of baggage needs to be processed. I'm sure it'll happen soon. So, all that baggage is waiting to go in this area here for these plants. So this is, as you can see, slowing us down. Got all the people waiting. Good news for our restaurants, though. Five hundred and fifty five there. Two hundred and nine there. All the people trying to get through security. <laughs> ah. Very busy airport. Currently, we've had uh, 70 flights processed today. I have a maximum 250. There's no way we could do 250 with the amount of parking spots we have currently. Look, see, everybody wants to go. Not really so much in the red. Once we start to get the airplanes going and stuff, we're fine. It's again, it was just the uh, it was the luggage issue. Because apparently it's been we've had some security issues on our luggage. It's baggage correctly destroyed. Oh look, it just went to green. See, our little system is working better now. Finally, uh, well, not so much we did, but expanded on our baggage scanning operation. So, get the planes moving in and out now. A little bit more smooth. The flight's coming in. Yeah, the income's doing nicely now. Someday we'll have enough money to uh, expand to get a large airstrip, which will only cost us low, low price of concrete, large strip of, um, which was it? It's like a million. Yeah, it's a million to buy this, this large airstrip. And we, we don't even have anywhere to put it yet. Do we? I don't even know where I'm going to do this. Because this is a million, and then we have to build or buy this land off to the side, either there or over here, for this thing to fit on. And that's seven. That's a 1.5 million to buy the two pieces of land that we need. Or we could just flat out destroy the small strip, say screw the, the small airline, but we won't have a big enough area for 
actual airplane. Oh, actually, I could do it up here. Then we're far away from our little terminal there. Even if I want to. I think I want to expand this way. I think we do that this way. Actually, I think we'd better go this way. Now, now that I'm thinking about it. Put the airstrip over there and put the... How the airlines... Or the air, airplane stands in this area. Because we have service roads here. And we have service road down. We have to go out this way. That way. That service road this way. Coming back. Why are you making all of your runways up down? Can you not make them diagonal and cross them like they were in real life? No, you can only make them horizontal or vertical. I'll come back with you. As far as I know, you can only put them in this way or that. Could you cross them over each other? No, you can't. They can't overcross each other. At least I don't think so. Yeah, so they can't touch each other. Do this way, as soon as you do that. So you can't have them cross over. Again. Not the dev. You have to ask them why you can't do that kind of stuff. Seems like something the dev may want to make possible. No, you have to talk to them about it. <laughs> Look, a wind song. I mean, they did make a... I haven't seen it at all. As far as, like, um, you can't actually put up... As far as I can tell, there's no way to connect... Like, you know, in most airports, you walk into the terminal and the same level as the aircraft. You can just walk out into a little tunnel right into the into the aircraft itself. There's nothing like that in this game. You actually, everybody has to walk outside, it looks like, and walk up onto the stairway. In order to get into the larger planes. The smaller ones, you just walk out and you get into them. But the medium size and larger, you need these, these uh, stairways. Which is kind of odd. Because I don't see a way to actually. Because we can make it. See this, and the funny part is, you can make a second story to the terminal, but I don't think you can actually connect it out to a plank. I don't see a way of doing that. Maybe the large stands would be different. So they look like. I mean, look how big these are. 400,000. Oh, maybe it is. Hmm. Can't really tell. Is it like a tunnel there? Might be. That might be what I was just talking about. It's hard to tell. I haven't built one yet. And I can't really, I don't really want to build one until I have a, you know, big enough airstrip. So. You know, our people here moving in and out. Get away from the vending machines. Come on. You pansy, get back in there and fight. So we lost our contract over here. Now to qualify for Kappa. Six forty eight. Got a sale and two hundred and five people. We're not gonna be able to keep that up, I don't think.
Any customers here? 130? Let's see if we can get 130 out of this. I think that's a square since there. You just don't get a lot of traffic flow. There are a lot of people flow through this area. I mean, there's enough, but not enough to support a contract with the caterers. So this is our self-check-in area. This is the regular check-in area. Oh. It requires additional staff. Who are we missing? Passenger survey, sorry. Passenger service. But there's. <laughs> Why is but not in there? We've got more than enough people walk around doing nothing. Frankly, there. Secured. people going to check in oh that's right they can't check in where they they drop in at. So they do a lot of walking uh, I guess we should uh Consider putting some self check ins over here and see if we can do that. Can it be placed without a passage drop or baggage drop nearby? Well, that's kind of problematic, isn't it? We have to route the. Okay, so we're not doing that. Oh well, I can continue to walk back and forth, I don't care. Oh. I've been forgetting about contracts. Airlines. Who wants to be my friend? Tulip Airlines, Skyfly Airlines, Skylines, Medium and Large. Oh, we still need some uh, smaller. Forest Air. There's some sm we need small flights, or small airplane flights on that right side there. Although we could ditch them. For a little while, we need more money still. Just trying to keep our uh, small strip kind of filled up. And a couple of mediums in the process, too. So this is our current flight plan. I 
And see our smalls. We got a lot of openings here. This last couple of lines. So that should help fill this up a little bit more. Give them a little bit more busy. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Oh, it's too small. That's what's the deal is there. Okay, we'll build this for that kind of fuel. And then we'll destroy this one and build a tank next in its place. Why? Because why not? Okay, it's not dinner time yet. What are you doing in here? All these people waiting for their plans. Oh, make some good money there. Really good money there. A thousand. Sorry, a thousand sales, whatever that means. You get a percentage of all of them. Specifically, the franchise. So there's the rent, and then there's our sales cut. It's a nice boost to the economy. Uh oh, let's give, give me Scouts a minute. Uh, nobody heard that, right? loader thingy. You heard the sigh? Okay. So nothing important then. You heard nothing important. Oh, and these guys, they have to get shuttle off. Or they get a shuttle out here. There's Jeff on a buffalo shuttle. But now you're curious. Well, I'm not going to say, so... <laughs> That hunts the sigh. Hey, lights are on. So how's this fuel tank going? Wow, it's a hundred percent full. Cool. Building that one up. Contracts. Let's look at our fuel contracts. So 0 0.8 per liter, 0.12 per liter for the jet fuel. Sorry, 0.12. Is that too much? Point seven three and point one eight. Is that cheaper? That's more expensive. Can I negotiate? It's 1.12 and 0.727. 1.12 and 2.2. Ah, 
just can't remember this. This is cheaper. It's definitely cheaper. 73 cents. That's 80 cents. So why is that? No, it's a four star. We're going to take your contract. Because you're cheaper by a lot. We already have a contract of this type. Cancel the current contract first. Fine. Let's see if we can get them down in price. Shameful? I think so. reasonable. 75%. Wow. So they actually want to charge me more for this. Two seven. So just to... De oh, they're not very uh, reasonable here. I want to cut my prices or my cost. They're not being. I mean, this is basically what they're charging me now, and I have to build all these points just to get that price. Well, screw you guys. These guys, right? Yeah, eight, uh, 80 cents a liter and 12 cents a liter for the jet fuel. We'll deliver 80,000 liters per delivery. Yes, please. The other guy sucked. I mean, they were ripping me off. <laughs> and they didn't, in the renegotiation, they actually wanted more money. I don't think they understand how that works. Look at all the self check ins. I have not gone broke yet, Jeff. Not even close. I paid off my million dollar loan. And now we're making all kinds of money. Except for this other expensive stuff. Supplier purchases. Oh, we just bought a bunch of fuel. That's what that was. We just bought a bunch of fuel. Any other to negotiate? Um, probably. Airlines we just did. Contractors. These guys are... So they're one, 132 maximum and $5.80 per hour fee. Should be better. 145 3A. What was the other one? 5A. Oh, definitely time to cancel this contract. You need to dismiss all con contractors from your currently. What? Oh, that's right. We have to do. Oh, actually, I don't think we need to actually con cancel that one. Let's sign this one. We already have a contract. Fine. So this is operations, contractors. It's a little cheaper, a lot cheaper actually. Then make the operations, max them out, and deploy. So there's that. There's our contractors. Aviation we just did, catering. I think this is a decent contract already. We can renegotiate maybe. Wow, 70. A little, a little bit cheaper. Yeah, 
Okay, so we just uh, renegoti uh, renegotiated our contract for a little bit cheaper on the food side of things. Yeah. So, contracts renegotiated. Oh, sorry. Oh, de-icing, who cares? Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the eighth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yay, Maple Airlines, or Maple Express, we renegotiated that contract. Havana. Go us. Fly Penguin. Trying to get the small, smaller plane flights there, so we'd be able to get more on the mediums here. Get me! I'm a genius. Trinity. I can't uh, reneg renegotiate. I can't re renegotiate. It's yellow, but that means we can do that. Okay, so the mediums here. I don't really care about the larges right now. Ta da! Okay, so. Stuff. So, money wise, last only made 24000 last hour. Why? So our expenses aren't too bad. The main cost is just it's our operational cost. Whatever operating cost is. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Doesn't tell me a whole lot. Operating cost is just six grand. So Tweak some things here and there. So we got our traffic flow going pretty well now. Found some uh, small issues. Yeah, I see this communist plot to keep planes from chilling. Yes, it is bad. I figured out why your employees were hanging. Yes, they were hanging out because they wanted an employee room over here. As soon as I built this, they came out over here and they've been here ever since. They just wanted a break room. So now they have a break room with with the uh, toilets. So good job, guys. You got what you wanted, I guess. That's all it was. Is they just wanted a break room, and now they have a, ba a bathroom they don't have to share with the the, the dirty, dirty uh, passengers. We could probably get away with some more seats in here for people to sit on. So you was kind of right. What the what were, what were you saying about it, Jeff? I don't remember. Probably could use bigger bathrooms over here, but it's okay.
Here, stare out the windows. Okay, sort of start, stare out the windows. They recall saying that they were using it like a break room. Yeah, okay, yeah, that would be kind of accurate then, yep. Yep, they were definitely using it as a break room. Very busy airport now. You boarding in progress. You have to come get on there. Baggage line uh, loading. So they're just loading the baggage for uh, the next flight. They haven't started boarding yet. Construction team is taxed slacking, are they? Well, it takes them a little while to get the materials and stuff. See, they don't have the materials yet. And plus, I don't think they work. Do they work at night? I don't know if they do or not. I don't think they do. They might not. Oh, no, they're working. Seats are being built. We're good. I think you guys are trying to self-board, and it's not working too well for them, I don't think. I guess it is. Let's see, Other desks. Can't do it here. Boo. So this should help with. Uh, well, once we get these built, we'll connect them to the proper stands, and that should help with the boarding process a little bit. Fingers crossed. at this time. Construction, there we go. Look at that, 64,000 last hour. Because a nice little bonus. We're getting bonuses out of these now. Because they're hitting their uh, sales quotas, so we're getting bonuses for that. Bag of water. It is time to take a break. Timing. Go stretch your legs. Don't 
down, down, Your down. next break is in two hours. I'll just get these guys set up here. Okay. I am going to um, let this run and take a quick break. Be back in a few minutes. Enjoy the dog video. I'm oh, sorry. Have they built a statue of Gimp at the front entrance? Not yet, but we can, might be able to do that, Jeff. Maybe. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, and there it goes. What the hell? Is the connection still on? I think it is. We're having uh, connection issues of some kind, it looks like. But it looks like we're still live. Okay, so we're good. Anyway, like I said, be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the video.
Okay, I'm back and Mickey's barking. So I'm dropping frames. My upload is like half of what it's supposed to be for some reason. <sighs> but I'm definitely dropping frames. Lots. <laughs> How noticeable is it though? It's gotta be noticeable. That I'm only getting half my upload for some reason. Mickey's upset about it, obviously. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. Now I'm confused. My upload is up to, like... Double of what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong somewhere. Am I still dropping frames is the question. Now it's back to normal, it looks like. So whatever it was. Some type of hiccup. Second. Just waiting to see what the connection is going to look like here. Give it another minute or so before I get back to normal. Anyway, happy Wednesday. Thank you all very much for watching. And while I'm thinking about it, uh, updated stream, or stream schedule for next week, Monday through Friday, is going to be MechWarrior Online all week long, Monday through Friday. Why? So we can get that last uh, $1,000 push to uh, $3,000 raised for the National MS Society. Doing the walk MS stuff. And... Dun, dun, dun. Can we... we good? I think so. It looks like we're good. It's not quite right. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. So, Wednesday. So, once again, happy Wednesday. Thank you very much for coming out. And airport's doing pretty well right now. We've uh, worked out some kinks here and there. Our income's doing too bad. And we'll see that part. So depending on what time of the day it is, like previous hour there, we just made 38, 36 grand with no bonuses involved. So that's solid. Bonuses usually come from the franchises when we hit their uh, sales quotas. Oh, the shop didn't make any money. It was making money before. Oh, it was just that hour. Six o'clock in the morning. That's probably why. So we finally figured out how to get the, these shops to make money. You gotta put them near an exit, it looks like. And they seem to make money that way. If you put them over here, they don't do squat. Just like this one's kind of struggling too, isn't it? Still struggling. But that's why we signed, um, or we did some, our contracts with the, the airlines that do light or small planes, so we should be seeing a little bit increased traffic there. That's the plan at least, which means more foot traffic foot traffic through this area. F. Yeah, I know F, the flight planner. It's packed. We're doing good. So the, the little yellow-orange ones, this is our light, our small aircraft. Oh, there's a big gap here. Why is there a gap there? Wow. Do we need, oh, geez. What's the Saturday and Sunday flights? This sucks. Or they just haven't been scheduled yet. Hmm. We could try to get a, a 
a smaller break in or a smaller gap in the flights, like around about 30 minutes. Let's do 20 minutes, see if we can get away with that. See if we can squeeze in a few more flights. Okay. So these guys don't have a lot of flights in here. This is full though. I think we just need more contracts for the small aircraft because there's some big gaps there. Look at that. This whole spot, this stand four is like no occupied. Wow, it's most of the day, all morning, no flights. Need more contracts. Goose wings, small and medium. That's what we're looking for. Medium there. Don't reject it. Just say no. Okay, Mrs. Gimpy's back. I just talked to her. What does she need now? Okay, I'm back. She's just telling me that the dogs are going in for grooming tomorrow. I don't know why she didn't tell me that right now, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, food. Doing well there. Where are all our buses and stuff here. How's the subway station doing here? Only 81 people per hour? Huh. We got parking. Parking's pretty much occupied. Not a big deal. Oh, this is Cat Care's little police car down here. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Oh, there we go. Here. So that's full. Let me fill up that uh, 25? Yeah, 25 should be good. So let that get used up, I guess. Or can I just disable automatic reorder fuel? Not sure. Close the depot. No. Fuel shouldn't be an issue here. So most of the stands in action there. These guys are all full up here except for those two. Oh, and I think that humble bundle, Stellaris Discovery Bundle is done, I think, as of today. So let me stop that. I forgot about that happening or ending today. Dun, dun, dun. Problem solved. Okay, so the extra seating seems to uh, spread people up, spread, spread people out a little bit. Eight o'clock in the morning, a little bit of business, good business still. Bathrooms, a lot of business. Security is super busy. Oh, how's our uh, luggage system doing? Not destroying as much stuff as we were. Now that we have an actual person looking at it, stuff. I really should read my emails, huh? 
that I haven't read. I haven't. I don't think I've read any emails in months and months. Day one, year three. Wow. I wonder if you send an email. You'd be international. Oh, I guess not. Okay, operations report. Processed a total of 3,233 passengers and 998 bags across 68 flights where zero were general access or whatever. 68 were commercial, of course. Rating for the day has been 91% and our average airport rating has been 83%. Past 24 hours, clear weather. Temperature 11 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it doesn't get 11 degrees Celsius here. Not during the day. Hey, Freak Show, welcome back. Small aircraft, 29, medium, 39. Aircraft refueled, 71. Okay. Ta -da. So, current airline rating, 94%. Oh, no, that's... Oh, no, that's good, isn't it? The airlines like us. Current passenger rating, 100%. Average. So, the passengers like us, too, then. Conveyor belt system, 998 Correctly scanned, 2,051. Incorrectly scanned, zero. Go us. Correctly destroyed, 151. Incorrectly destroyed, 343. <laughs> um, so I'm confused. If they're correctly scanned, why were they destroyed? Incorrectly. That's why I don't look at this email. Just, it just uh, gives me more questions. Average employee productivity is 246%. Everybody needs a uh, raise. No passenger is an incidents. Current security rating 90%. Construction. Important stuff. Long term, average airport rating good, but can always be improved. So, typos. Especially if you want to stand out from the crowd and continue to expand our business. However, our average airport rating is better today than yesterday, which is something we can be satisfied with. 2,500 passengers have passed through our airport now these past 24 hours, which is a fair amount, but we can always improve, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, stuff. So, if we're doing scanning properly, how can baggage be incorrectly destroyed? I'm confused about that one. We need more baggage cars. Is that what's why this is so slow? Seems like that might be a thing. Oh, you don't need to be there. Got one there. Start using one there. That one's being used. There's one there. There's not one here. Let's go there. those baggage handlers go. Okay, vehicles. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Me. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you very much for watching. Happy Wednesday. 
The narrow turn radius and trailer hitch the truck into handle, blah, blah, blah. Up to five trailers. I've never seen anybody pull more than one trailer. Let's make two of these. Dun, dun, dun. This is all our baggage stuff. This can't be it. Oh, there's a second page. Never mind. These guys are unassigned, which is not a big deal. Idling, going by idling. Idling, idling, front we asked idling. Time left two minutes. One minute. Friend, and you go up there too. Mm -hmm. I should actually. This is a regular road. This is a service road. I should build one of those. Uh, Oh, that works out. That worked out really well. And why we're here, this just allows, like those little baggage trucks that we just bought. They should have taken, if this was here, they probably hopefully would have went this way to get to uh, there. But I don't know if they would have or not. But eh, we'll have it there anyway. So, security. We could use another one, but we just don't have the room right there. These lazy bastards. HR director. What's the HR director doing up here? problem. Passenger service agent and HR director. I'm not sure. Strategy director is up here too. You guys got nothing better to do? Hey, what's Gimpy doing up here? <laughs> Taking up seats in the harassing women, maybe? I don't know. But again, look, Gimpy. Looks like he has a head of hair, though. It's not right. Oh, mind control walk. Inspect. Oh, look at that. You can... Nope. That wasn't very good mind control there. So walk, interact, panic and speed, inspection speed. Look, they're happy. I'm happy. No? Let's 
its inspection speed. Max space. Okay, apparently he had to do that. Is this a tiny staff room? It is, because because we have really big ones down here. So I don't know why they're staying so much. I don't know why Gimpy's up there or, or other people. Getting drunk for free in the lounge? There's no lounge here. This is just a restaurant. This is just a restaurant. Seven fifty seven again. Uh, where do we short on staff janitors again? So shifts. Okay, so our pretty information desk. Shift length is only four hours. Six hours, four hours, four hours, six hours. So are they just not Oh we can do Six hour shifts there. Why wouldn't you have them all at every day at six hours? Because that's what they're happy with. Why would you have them work less than four or less than six? White collar working hours. Zero to zero administrator, zero to zero. Seven thirty to midnight. Seems kind of excessive. Eight o'clock. Get a half hour lunch. Administrators. Take a break sometimes. Okay, I haven't done that. Operations. So still doing this stuff here, so we're getting a supplier discount. Unfortunately, those are the ones we're stuck on now. We're done with all our research. It's all set. Dashboard. Oh, look, there's our money. There's not our money. We're at 10 minutes. Seems a little quick. So let's look at it every hour. Every hour. Checking for this flight is currently blocked by another flight and check-in cannot be ensure that there's a significant number of check-in de desks available. There are. They've been working fine. I mean, how many? We've got what? Nine. Kind of evil overlord mind controls and employees. Um, well, seeing that I don't think I can mind control everybody. I think the only person I can mind control is Gimpy, because that's you know who I'm supposed to be. The janitor I can't mind control. Janitor still? Holy crap. We're 
still short seven somehow. Dimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the eighth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And we'll actually be doing the walk here in about two weeks, actually. Two weeks from Monday, technically, if weather permits, which it should. So we only got two weeks to go. Actually, yeah, it's a, a week from Monday. So I should do another check-in desk here, or a couple more check-in desks. But we have to get a little creative with our bags and stuff. So they built these guys here, but we're going to have to expand down here because we have to uh, do things. out those those walls what kind of airport is this um, open <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean what kind of airport is it All the mind control stuff. Oh, well, we don't really have any real mind control. It's I can only control Gimpy, and that's fairly limited. We can make him walk around, but that's about it. You can't have him go around and force choke people, which is kind of disappointing. But what are you gonna do? Hurry up, build this stuff. I was waiting for her. I've got all day. Got baggage things to design here. The buses. So again, we pretty much uh, got everything resolved, huh, as far as traffic flow goes. I have a feeling we're going to run into some uh, baggage issues here, though, in a second, once I get these other check in things done. Okay, so we need a escalator down. Okay, 
build faster. Come on, slowpokes. I pay you guys good money. Build faster. So that'll be good there. Everything's falling in the right direction. Sure looks like it. So that's good. Okay, so this that way. get built, then I'll go in the same way. I'll head it to a uh, massive or central scanning area. Hopefully they're not blown up wrong luggage. Doesn't look like they are. Hopefully. thingy. So as soon as uh, all that construction is done, we'll be good here. Not connected to what? Just checkpoint, can't find a path to the connected baggage bay because it's not built yet. Relax, it's not built yet. This and that little exclamation point should go away. No? Why not? Oh, because I didn't build that. I wonder why this one was bitching about not being connected. Okay, so all the fucks are all set up now. Nothing's delayed, no big deal. Now it's good. Aren't your legs getting stiff? Nope. You haven't moved in quite a while. Not true. Stretch, damn it! You ignorant meatbag. 
She's so mean to me. Oh, we're supposed to do uh, decoration. So, we need a statue. A statue of a bottle, of a pilot, of an airplane, of a knot, a car. Why would you want a statue of a car at an airport? So now we have statues, but nothing important. It's kind of disappointing. Put some lights, just because. So again, this is our little pond with trees and hedges. Now we have statues outside. So, good stuff, right? So that's so let's get there. Only eighty nine flights today, ninety on Friday, eighty four on Saturday, and sixty nine on Sunday. Why does nobody want to fly on Sundays? Ninety on Friday. A lot of flights. Oh, I'll try to pack them a little closer too instead of a 30 minute break between flights we're only down to 20 minutes. Well, that doesn't seem to make that big of a difference in most cases. That little pause you see every time, that's an autosave. Just bad, I guess. Oh, you know what? I forgot to build the road down here. Built the crosswalk, but no warp road. Statues are built. Lights aren't built yet, though. They're up to 800 grand. Need more money. I need something more money. So, what? 234. Now that we have more contracts with more flights in for here. We're actually making money here now too. Lots of sales. Can't find a crack. What? What's the problem? Target. I'm not sure what the problem is here. Is it because I expanded? Oh, I'm just having a problem. Oh, 
I don't know what the issue is to get down here. I should ditch these uh, cues here. We don't need them. Now watch, we're going to have a flood of people and we're going to need the cue. Watch. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. I am fighting. Fighting for money. See, look, get rid of the cues and people start showing up. <laughs> uh, whatever. Trying to get are they trying to get over here? Yes, they're on this floor, but why can't they get it? I don't understand why they can't make it. There's nothing blocking them from walking that way. So that's all clear up and clear this up too. That's good. Confused. What's the issue? Trying to get over here. Hmm. I don't know why they're having problems getting from here to here. There's nothing blocking their way, unless these count as blocking, which is weird. funny is we don't need any of these because that goes to one baggage claim that goes to the other one so we can actually get rid of all this stuff here let's do that because we don't need this They should be able to find a path going this way at the very least, I would think. Unless this stuff is all cleared out. And we quit some more self check ins, too. I don't know what the issue is here. So we will 
get rid of that. See if that helps. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Seemed to be better. There should be more than enough self-check-ins to deal with everything in this area. Oh, damn it. I thought I canceled that. It's all nice and bright out here now. Two o'clock in the morning. It's the bright spot of the airport. Oh, what's this? Problem here. Oh, there's the line. It's <laughs> the line to get there. I don't understand why these guys have an issue, but looks like it's okay. Aren't you guys doing self check ins? Oh, probably because this isn't connected to a baggage terminal, that's why. Don't walk across there, it's no big deal. Can't why aren't you guys using why aren't you guys using self check-ins? Because this wasn't connected? Probably. Yes, misclicks. Wonderful misclicks. Bird date of birth nineteen eighty nine. I graduated high school in eighty eight. That's funny. This nice little line all the way just for this flight. Again, we have self check ins. Why are you guys in line for, idiots? Get there to there. Your passenger? You're a passenger. You have a boarding pass. I don't know what your problem is.
Heck are all the workers? They are probably lounging. See, nobody's working there. I don't know where they are. What time is it? It's four o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> We, we let our executives and administrators not have to work all day long, so, because, you know, reasons. See, the executives and administrators used to work 24 hours a day, so we're getting a little bit of a reprieve there. They only have to work, you know, 12 and a half hours a day. I think that's fair. executive committee so some of them are sitting around on their butts working hard like our security officer and passenger service agent blah, blah, blah. so you know everybody has you know shifts they have to work apparently they never go home issue here. Why do you want to go over there? I don't know why they want to go over there. Because they checked in. Oh, I think because they don't know where to go. Is that what it is? And I don't, I don't understand what the problem is. Oh, maybe we need a um, thing on the wall stuff, not conveyor, desk, light information. Will this help you guys? So you know which way to go. Information desk. Oh, is it information their issue? I don't know. I don't know exactly what their problem is here. Um, secure area on the NA, so I don't know why you're trying to get over there. You're a passenger, why are you trying to get over here? These guys, I don't know what they're doing here either. You're up to a million. Thirty-six thousand last hour. No bonuses either. Hello, everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. I don't know where these guys are going. I don't know why they want to go over here. 
If anything, they want to go through security here. Or let's get all the way over to the other terminal. Again, I don't understand what they're trying to do. You know, for some reason, they just can't find a path through here for whatever reason. That makes... Whatever. They'll figure it out, I guess, eventually. Someday. There's the quick self-check-ins kicking in now. Oh, they're going, they're leaving. I should actually put a sub entrance up here, too. There. So when the people are leaving, they don't have to go all the way down here. We still have to walk through the store, though. Enough, yeah, but then it's like, what, 400000 for a um, large plane stand? So it's, I'd have to take out a loan, probably, to get stuff done. Oh, I tried. I paid off my loan, didn't I? So they give me a loan for $1.8 So that's enough for a runway plus what cash I already have. But... The hourly cost is six grand, so we'll lose income on that. What's our average income right now? Average cash flow is twenty-one thousand. So we could do it. We can do it. Just a question of Oh, actually we still have to buy these two over here, I think. Yeah, we still have to. It's still 1.5 million to buy these two pieces of property, and we have to buy them because because the runway is so long. You need to buy have two of them. Other possibility is to either get rid of the medium runway or the small runway. That's a possibility, but that's that's money for us. This is all make this is all making money for us. And we're going to have to build a another terminal in this area. Just like we have set up over here. Because this is actually working really... This is working a lot better than I thought it was going to work. The underground walkway is, definitely works. And we'll do, end up doing basically the same thing for uh, the large. But the downside now is... We can only have so many attachments to these guys here. So we're going to need a third one, which we should probably get set up for. We can build it right there, probably. Let's do that. Get this hollowed out down here. While I'm thinking about it. It's got to be at least 5 by 5 Six by six. Small this out there. One spot at a time. What buying? Eh, it's an option. Yeah, we got to get our little infrastructure set up. You know, for expanded baggage because uh, large planes oof. <laughs> 
because we're still, we're going to try to handle every all the check in all the yeah all the check ins over in this area because we still have some we have lots of room here to expand if we need to for more of these. Just pathing seems to be some kind of an issue. And again, we'll have. Uh, is that going to work? Are people put it on this way. Oh, and then just build another tunnel that way. Oh, that'll work. So we can eat, reuse this stuff, or we don't have to not necessarily reuse it, but keep using the same spot, and just have them go off this way for the other terminal, which is going to be roughly in this area, right? Because we're going to utilize this uh, service road to get to the other uh, terminal. And uh, aircraft stuff. Uh, we're going to need another fuel tank probably, though. Oh, it's pretty big. Doing pretty well here. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. See, this is all set up and we're good, I think, for this. Yeah, let's just use this as our little underground passageway to get to the other terminal. Yep. And there's really no reason to take one spot at a time for the land. Just save up the money and get them all at the same time. Because the loan is going to be, what, 1.5... So that's that's the land right there, and then the cash that we have currently. It's not even quite enough to build the, the runway. Let's go over that later. And we don't need to build this yet because we don't need it. So we're okay there. Although what I could do is buy up this and start developing the terminal. in this area, getting it ready. Hmm, there's a thought. Let's get that now. And we're gonna clear out all the water, because why not? Okay, so the walkway is going to end up going over this way. It's going to be the terminal right here. And lose all the space for the runway and the air stands in this area too. Although we're probably going to have to need... Hmm. Yeah, we should have plenty of room to work with. So let's go underground and let's go straight out that way. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the eighth year in a row here on Twitch. 
Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12th, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yep, thank you very much. Thank you to everybody who's donated so far, and thank you to everybody who may be donating in the future. I'm be very busy down here. Although these should be flipped, but eh, it's okay. Because these guys, they come off here and they should be going down this way and then over here they go that way. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not a huge deal. Okay, again, so we're going to build a terminal over in this area. Only have 187,000 left though. After purchasing that property. 684,000. And then we're going to need like what, at least 30,000, I think it is, for these length. But we can actually put the large ones in, it looks like. Looks like we're going to have room for it. Oh, easily. I'm going to be able to fit a couple of these in here. Ugh. Cheap, cheap. terminal so we have to actually get the terminal built first This is going to be our main terminal too, so this is going to probably be pretty big. where it's going to be. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh, so we can do this. So, so the air, the airstrip is going to be way out here, and then the large stands are pretty big. Again, four hundred thousand a pop. So the question is, how are we going to do this? So, I'm not building these up right now, obviously. There's the terminal. <laughs> so if these are actually, that's the connection to the terminal itself, maybe? I think that's how it's supposed to work. So the question is how we're gonna do this. So we can do this way, but the airplane's coming at that from underneath. And then the other ones along going that way too, with the terminal in between. This way, just go this way and this way. And have all this is the open area there. But then we have to build the terminal going vertical. Go this way. Or we can just go vertical and then build a couple out. Oh, I didn't even think about doing that. Built the terminal going back down this way, going up that way. Little arms here and there, and just go one, two, one, two, one, two, that kind of stuff. Hmm. You kind of get creative here, I guess. Need to walk, build the walkways now just for the construction workers to get back and forth. Okay, so this one we want to go like this. Kind of like I was talking about on that one earlier where I kind of screwed it up. So, do that there. That one there. They don't walk yet. You try to get to the other one, but they shouldn't. From this one, this will just go right around the corner, go that way. They won't even try to get over there. Look, you can still do another large. These are what, 45 a pop, I think? Yeah, 45 each. So. Look at that. enough. They can walk a little bit of the last way. Won't kill them. And get 45 on the next pass. Or when we get 45 grand again, we'll get that built too. There we go. Actually, I probably shouldn't build those until pathways are built. Otherwise, people get stuck. Actually, I actually have to hey, do Gimpy, it here. Have you hydrated lately? If not, you really should. 
just did because she said that. So again, the whole point of building these right now is that this will uh, save us some construction worker time when we start building a little bit more out here. I like how they go back and pick up the materials. So I got to build a service road going somewhere through here. Although I could have it could just go underneath. Just like that's right there. Yeah, that well, shouldn't be too big of an issue. Ah, oh, there's one. I wish they'd let you build a um, subway system. <laughs> if you ever been, if you ever been to uh, Denver, Denver's new international airport, I think the place is huge, and they've got basically a subway system to get you from the different uh, terminals. And it's really cool the way they've set it up. Too bad they can't do. We can't do it here though, because this whole, you know, this whole issue here. Instead of having to walk, you just have a little subway that, you know, basically it's a train that takes you from one spot to the other. You don't need a plane to get high. Hey, so many places are, are like that now, Bata. We just have two guys working on these things. Work faster. Work faster, not harder. that one so we can build a little hatch here so nobody makes any mistakes. Ramp agents. How are we short on ramp agents? There's somebody built in somewhere, but what are they working on? Oh, there we go. Okay, so. This is just to keep people from walking down the middle. Okay, we're back up to 51,000 already. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We can plan our builds too. Building tools. 
building tools. So, planning mode. Planning mode lets you place objects without them being placed or paid for or built. So, terminal. How do we actually do this? Building tools. So that's a toggle. Okay. So, so again, we're thinking build have the terminal go down this way, and then, like I said, do little arms out here and there. So we can actually start that here. But the question is, how big of an area do we want this to be? Thinking. Eleven by ten. Well, it's actually going to be bigger than that because we're going to go up this way too. But we just don't own this right now, so we can't even do plan. But so I'm thinking three, four. Five. This will give us plenty of uh, space to play around with. Let's go like this. And then we'll have the, this guy here. Like that. It's like this. I'll get lots of room. We want to give a uh, plenty of space for taxiing and that kind of thing, so we'll just plan on that for now. And the terminal continue to go out this way. It really only has to be like right there at most, probably. That. And this is where security is going to be to get into these. I guess we can just do security individually. That might be kind of helpful. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And we're going to have to do international too at some point. How much space is a large air how much space is a large airplane gonna need? I'm gonna go with probably no more than or at least six, right? For taxing and stuff. That's six. Let's go a little bit wider than that, I guess. here. So I have no idea how big the big planes are. Because the mediums, five is big enough for them, but I don't know if it really matters. Actually, how big is the actual airport or airstrip? It is 
7. So that's all we really need is 7. For taxiing purposes and stuff, so... Look at that, look at that... Taxiway Taxiway Foundation, so this only has to be 7. Seven wide here. No, sorry, seven wide here. And this would be the terminal again. Two past. All the way back this way. Oh, sorry, this is. No, this is wrong. That's not terminal. That's a taxi rack. Oh, I have to uh, build it to to get rid of that stuff. So that works. Okay, so this taxiway. Let's go all the way there. Oh, where's the service? Oh, the service road's right there. So actually, I've been one to for service road access. We're gonna have to move this out a little bit more because the service road is gonna be coming from over here. It's gonna come down from underneath and then pop up somewhere in this area. Or yeah. Service roads. It's the tunnel down. Just it's right here. It's like that. There, that one there to extend that out a little bit more, no big deal. Just like that. And then the service road. Which you don't have to do quite right now, but that might be to get this laid out. Actually, we don't have to do it on this side. We could do it on that side. Yeah, we better do it on that side. Why? Because that way you don't have to worry about crossing over this and all the other stuff. No, can't do it though. So, something to think about. Oh, we can actually buy this now. Okay. No, okay. seven hundred fifty thousand. We got a while to buy that. Continue our plan in here. Get 
that far away from the road, we can actually take care of this. Yeah, there. Yep. Okay, so. That's four paths there. We're gonna have two more up here. So we got lot gonna have lots of room to play around with. Maybe able to get a I don't know. This is five wide here for the terminal. This is gonna work. It's gonna be expensive as hell, but it's gonna work. This was seven. It's a service road there, there's a service road there. And we can actually run it along this way too, all the way up there. Service road, we're just gonna have. I can run them back this way and then along this way. You can even run them underground. Go this way, get an underground tunnel, go on this way. Yeah, we need to get this. <coughs> Don't know. Mm -hmm. That's right, we decided not to do that. We're gonna have the service road. More than likely pop up over here and then go underneath the terminal here. Do that. You know, just go around. Just go around. Just like that. Then run along down this way. Service run, just doing that. Oh, we can actually run this underneath here, right here, or we can actually just have our vehicle it's depot in this area. Again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. So good. Okay. 
use our vehicle to go. Just drive track your slides, stuff, stuff. Come on, you pansy, get back in there and fight. This is your vehicle people, all right? Farther south there. So, so I'm thinking about putting a tunnel underneath here to connect the service road that's way a little bit more, hopefully, efficiently. Come on, you pansy, get back in there and fight. Down about them. There. There. And this is the service right there. Just like that. And then this one. Oh, actually, I can change the angle of this one. It's not going that way. This way. I want to go on this So, um... So it's going up. Go up this way and I'd end up over there. I just make a little U-turn. Yeah, that'll work. Close enough. So I get uh, connected there. You know, they can run this way, go that way. Oh, actually, no, it's, yeah. Yeah, so they can go down this way, go this way, get over there, or they can run down this way if they want to. And we're going to put a vehicle depot on the side, too. Vehicles can go this way, get around that way if they need to. They can go down that way and go that way, which would be faster, right? So we don't actually need this. Okay. 
fucked. <laughs> now we can make this. Only go. We can do that. Okay, so there's the start of this new terminal more thing. And we still have lots of room to expand. Well, maybe not lots of room, but we'll still be able to get at least four more large stands here and here by expanding the terminal that way. Probably pick up two more up there. So a total of what? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve large air stands. Might work. Now we just need to save up the money to get it done. Which would be a little while. Okay. Okay, so there's the plan. So we have to buy this for 750, 750,000, and then we'll be able to plan out our little service road connection this way. Basically, it's just going to be for pretty much fuel and catering and that kind of stuff, because everything else is going to be maintained here as far as baggage trucks and that kind of thing. Oh, and then we also, this will also provide a connection to the, this. The baggage assortment facility, whatever, because that road's got to go this way, here, and that's what we're going to have to work on next. So I have a tunnel down here somewhere. Let's make that look here. There's the terminal. So again, we're going to have to have an underground tunnel this way. And I'm going to that way to get onto the service road up here to get access to these guys here, as well as the fuel. I wonder how much fuel we're going to need. For the large on, ones. You pansy. Get back in there and fight. Anyway. So, money wise. While we've been talking, we've been making money. Because I haven't been spending any money. So, over the last 24 hours, we've lost an average of 27,000. Not sure why. Probably because of stuff that we bought, right? Oh, the other expenses. Construction and procurements. So that's just average stuff there over the last 24 hours. Oh, that's right, because we built the... forgot that we actually did build this stuff to allow our... or get our construction guys to travel a little bit faster when making... doing their building over on this end. So that'll speed their movement up a little bit, hopefully. When we get to that point... So yeah, this is going to be pretty nice, I think. Put a little bit more thought into the actual design of this terminal, as opposed to the other ones, which are more impromptu type stuff. It's, again, that's going to be 12 large air stands. It's a lot of airplanes. Anyway, so that's good. What's your guys' problem over here? Why are you trying to get there? Oh. <laughs> I think I should uh, rip this one out and rotate it so that people can get better access to this. Let's do that. And it's to the second luggage bay. is raising money for the National MS Society for the 8th year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2021 in San Diego is April 10th, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, 
and Gimpy will be doing a private walk on April 12, 13 or 14. They will walk one mile for every $1,000 raised and over $2,000 has been raised so far. Okay. If you can donate, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Of course, that really means I have to walk three miles because I went a mile from last year. But, yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. Okay, get that built. People shouldn't be complaining about being able to access that much more, right? And it'll be fine. It goes right on the conveyor belts, right out of there. Changed my mind where I wanted that. Just a little bit farther away. We'll just build two, a couple of belts there. Not a big deal. I don't know why these guys are lost here. It's, it shouldn't be that hard to navigate this area. It's not that convoluted. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could be smoother, but there's no reason for them to not be able to. They found their way here. They should find their way out. I mean, these guys are doing it. They're making it to their jobs. Why can't you get make it out of here? I could take this stuff out and put more check-ins over here too because they're not that far away from too bad of a location I guess there we go and you're going to the second claim Really, you can't navigate through that. All the way over here? It's, you can't, why can't you get to there? just figure it out because I changed that that can't be right how do they just figure that out losing money. Seven o'clock in the eight o'clock in the morning, that's why. We don't have any bonuses, why?
47. It's not too bad. Three. Okay, it's again, new day. So I'm sure they're doing fine. So construction workers, do we need this many floating around right now? No. So if I dismiss, you can always bring them back, it looks like. No construction in progress. Constructors are on structure. Contractors on site. Law. See. Look like how you have to call them. I wish there's a quicker way of doing that. That may not work. So we don't need a hundred guys walking around. We'll send 80 home for now. Because we don't plan on doing any real construction for a while. So there's no reason to pay, pay for all of them all the time. That'll save us a little bit of money. They're just standing around not doing a whole lot, so we don't need that many to build little stuff. Two ninety one of one twenty five already. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Five two oh five. The plane's crashing this. I haven't seen any crashes yet. I haven't seen any events yet. Gameplay settings. Metric dollar blah. Saving every five minutes is a little killer. Let's do every 15 minutes. Okay, so um, I know there's a, a setting when you start the game up that says stuff. And I'm pretty sure I started at the, the moderate level, but we haven't seen any events at all. I mean, we've seen snow a couple of times, I think. I mean, the ground turned white. I think that might have been snow, but I don't know. But it wasn't uh, really any indication for the weather. You have a weather machine over there, or weather prediction, whatever. Like that. But again, I haven't seen any crashes yet. Now, I remember last week when I was playing this, we got a notification that a plane was having issues with something, but nothing ever seemed to have come by or come from it. So, I don't know. I don't know if planes will actually crash or not. I mean, we haven't killed any cows. We haven't killed any birds. Actually, I haven't seen any birds. Cows are wandering around here and there, but other than that. Hijacking? I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. These guys just sitting around doing nothing. Hey, bag of water. It is time to take a break. Oh shit, it's Go o'clock. your legs. You told me it was six o'clock.
again. Great sound. Oh, did I? I did not set these guys up. It's this one, right? Oh, sorry. Going to that one up there. Is that what's wrong? What? Can't connect the other side stroke while handling a flight. Boo. So this one's going there. Oh, it did automatically. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Okay. So all these guys are going to there. flights a day uh, we're up to 90 well 90 on Saturday Sunday it's gonna oh, 90 on Saturday too so Thursday and Friday for some reason we didn't have uh, I'm confused <laughs> Guys are taken care of. I'm not going to clear the stand just for that. Enough lights are being handled. Ugh. Fine, it'll stay the way it is. Yeah, kind of busy. Ninety flights a day. Ninety flights a day. I don't know. I don't know what happened on days here unless this is supposed to be in the future this might be future they haven't been scheduled yet I think that's what it is because we're actually technically on Saturday yeah I think these are future flights so we're, it looks like we're doing 90 flights a day typically now okay Parking lot, not, not packed. Buses are busy. Subway, doing 31 an hour, doing 37 an hour. It's doing 83 sales right now. Currently only noon time, not too bad, I guess. This one, 187, 220 again at noon. Most of the flights haven't come in yet. Right? It's 91 to 130, so not too bad. Again, what's your problem? Wait a minute. You're trying to get right there. What's the issue? 
<laughs> I don't understand the issue here. All you have to do is go. I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't understand what they're having a pathing issue here for. There's nothing here to block them from walking. Probably the max with the number of medium stands. Eh, probably. Because we have the... Was it eight? Six? Seven, eight. So we have eight medium uh, stands and seven small stands. Dropped a falafel on the luggage carousel in Terminal One. Can someone retrieve it before ends in Cairo? <laughs> okay, Meerkat. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer. I don't think you're gonna get your food back. Trying to get up here. Trying to get up here, and I don't. There's a pathway there. But really good fa falafel? Okay. Well, don't have to tell you. It's going to end up in Cairo. Especially from this, air from this airport. There's a really good chance it's going to be really misdelivered. Or it just may never even make it through the screening process. Off of the barcoded? Barcoded for what? Anyway, so up to 400,000. I think they were making money again. Well, look at all the people looking for toilets are right there. We may need more restrooms. How much money we're we making off the restrooms is a real question. Passengers? Bathroom fees. Look at that. We're averaging 679 days an hour for using the bathroom. Vending machines are making us $88 an hour. Passenger fees, whatever those are for. Bag hand baggage handling. Not too bad. Yes, we're charging people to use the bathrooms, trying to disincent disincentive incentivize them be move well trying to incent incent uh, give them an in oh god I can't wait encourage them to use the bathroom leak class that's what we're supposed to be doing
Okay. Oh, we didn't make so much money last hour. How come? Not enough income from the planes. I'm not whining. How am I whining? What am I whining about? Okay. Uziel needs to know. Hey Veronica, who is the coolest viewer? Who is the coolest viewer? Let me think about that. Dark Malakan is cool because he is, you know, dark. Ta-da! My brilliant sense of humor. Okay, that. So, I believe my dinner is going to be ready here any second now. Mrs. Gimpy, I think, waved at me a few minutes ago, and I totally wasn't paying attention, really. Anyway, so, I'm going to stop here for today. Again, I, I, I like this game. I really do. We still have to build this, this last uh, terminal for a large aircraft, which is going to cost a lot of money. What's for dinner? I don't know, Tubby. Welcome back. I don't know what's for dinner. I never ask anymore. I just go, yes, dear. It's good, dear. That way you don't get smacked. <laughs> it's a joke. Anyway, so that'll be it for today. And again, I do enjoy this game. This is a, for a business simulation type game. It's done fairly well. You have uh, pretty good control of what's going on. The only real issue is that I that I've noticed is the wonky pathfinder that it can't like it wants to get over here for some reason and I don't know why and I don't know why he can't because it's a straight shot I don't know why he'd want to go onto the conveyor belt so I don't know what's going on there grilling turkey burgers ew flew right by you I see what you did there Toby anyway so this I'm enjoying it. I like it. I like this game. I really do. So, unfortunately, this is a type of game that I don't really stream because it's not... It's not what most people like to watch, but the thing is, it's the type of game that I really do like to play. It's it, it's just like, uh, you know, like Railroad, Railroad, Railroad Tycoon. Love those type of games. People don't really want to watch them, which is fine. I understand that this type of game, any type of business type stuff. It's not super exciting. It's very you know, slow paced for the most part and that kind of stuff. Um, but it's the type of game that I really do like, it, like to play. Are they still actively bug fixing? I honestly don't know, Silas. I honestly don't know. I would hope so. The game has only been out technically fully released for like a month or two at most. COVID, I can't go anywhere simulator. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So anywhere stream schedule tomorrow mech we're online friday mech we're online saturday star sector with the, probably a new playthrough we're starting a new playthrough because of um the game got updated last friday so how it's going to be affecting existing mods and that kind of stuff i don't know so more than likely you're going to start with just a new playthrough sunday pathfinder kingmaker and then monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday of next week mech we're online all week because, uh, to raise money for the National Emma Society and because we still have to get three thousand dollars we're only a little over two thousand now so if you want to help out with the donation make me walk farther than I really want to donate stomping out ms.org I'll put that in chat dun, 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 dun. so again if you want to help out with the donation any amount it counts it works it's a great cause really do appreciate it if you do and um like I said we're up to over two thousand dollars which means i'm supposed to be walking three miles at least and the actual walk is going to be probably april 12th which is a week from this past tuesday or monday right I think that's the way it works out yeah april 12th is the day i'm shooting to do the walk uh, if we don't it's going to be weather dependent you know that kind of stuff but you know good chance that it's going to happen on the 12th of april which again only a week and a half away 
week and a half away. Okay, so that's it. Stream tomorrow for Macro Online starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT. So that'll be it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I know you have many other viewing choices here on Twitch, and I really do appreciate it when you choose to spend your time with me. So thank you very much. Have a great evening, great day. Wherever you happen to be, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear a mask, and of course, maintain your social distancing. That'll be it for today. See you tomorrow. I don't know what exactly that's supposed to do, but I probably should have read the manual. So, so we're going to uh, basically stomp on this panther. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was awesome. <laughs> hey, Skybird. I am not a menace. I swear I'm not a menace. That guy was a menace. He jumped out right in front of me. You all saw that. I got it on camera. See you, Caribbean. Thank you for watching. Again, thanks for the host again. You should probably pay attention to what's going on ahead of me here. And here they come up from the side. Yeah. Oh, I look. I'm a sparkly vampire. I have to do that, sorry. <laughs> Stupid, I know. And Daggerfall is going to kill you before you give me powers. some reason. Uh-oh. Transmit. EVA. Let go. No. Oh. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm sorry, Jeff. Be a little tougher. Well, yeah, solo he'd been a little tough, but. Oh, he's got something special on him. When I skinned him. Yeah, he's got a pot or something. When I skinned him, we got. Mortarium. A metal vessel for preparing food. I don't know why I got that from skinning him, but whatever. <laughs> you got his pot from his butt. Oh, is that what that was? Okay, Pop. Papako says hello to you and the dogs, by the way. I know you don't know who that is, but they know who you are. Hello.